Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day and I just want to firstly say thank you for all the support in the last couple of videos. It means the absolute world to me and if you haven't already, most of you haven't even subscribed and liked my video. So if you haven't, just go quickly make an account and just subscribe so you can keep up to, up to date with all the videos. But today is a very personal video um, on the, what I've done with my mental health through this whole experience and how I've kept sane or like stayed strong especially with how low I actually got to the point um so this is just a little bit of an insight for you guys so I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you do leave a like comment and subscribe a huge thing was honestly just having friends there um just messaging people just to talk about how i'm feeling like honestly and even if it wasn't about my treatment just about how their day was and what they got up to sort of just made me like get back to where i used to be where i used to check up on my mates all the time and just like be more social with everybody and it's a huge thing it just sort of just shifts your mind off the gut that i'm going through treatment and i'm going through shit um but there's still my friends there right there with me secondly was mainly like probably the biggest thing was actually um talking to a professional um i did see a psychiatrist a couple times and just i know not many people want to go talk to a professional it takes a lot the first step is mainly really just taking that first step to actually go speak to someone and i know it's like i didn't want to go talk to anyone about how i was feeling or like talk to some, a complete stranger about exactly what i was going through because like you would that you'd be like they don't understand but honestly it the th the way that they work, just like they just give you theories and ideas to just try and shift your mind off what's going on. And a couple of ideas was um, if you are like overthinking and like overlooking everything, write down all your thoughts and write down exactly what you're going through. That worked with me, and also just trying just to even though things are like at its worst there will always be something positive to come out of it and like look at me now i've went from pretty much wanting them to pull the plug on everything i was just done i couldn't handle it anymore i didn't want to continue with treatment i was like i was like i'm done i'm not getting better and just like that within a couple of weeks i'm out of hospital i'm smashing it i'm getting better every single day and but the big step is obviously taking that first step to actually go see someone and i can say from personal experience that like seeing a professional actually helps thirdly i really really need to emphasize about personal time so even though i talk to a lot of people about how i'm feeling and everything um Meta, like spending time in my own head just evaluating everything that's happened and that it's going to get better and it's just something that I've been telling myself ever since I got sick that like it's going to get better I'm going to smash this I'm not going to crumble even though I got to points where I was crumbling I was not there I couldn't like function properly I just couldn't do anything and I didn't want to do anything but when I sat down and said to myself, you can't do this, like you're 18 turning 19 years old, I still have such a long life and I know that I do. And that's what so many of you need to actually see that you have so much, such a long life ahead of you guys, like it's insane. Like I've talked to my mates just like this saying, don't know if they want to do this, do that. I'm just like, just go do it. You have nothing to lose. Yeah, you might not earn as much. You might not like it, but it's better to try than not do anything. Like, I I wasted so much time when I was healthy, focusing on, oh, 
like I could, I could do this, but I don't feel like it today. If you if you have an idea, go out and try it. There's nothing stopping you in this world at all from trying it. And even when you don't feel well one day, you feel a bit depressed. Just like take take a couple hours just yourself, breathe. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. Everything will be okay. And just look at, look at my personal experience, guys. Um, it it really does help. And no, even though my situation isn't the best, I've seen people go through much, much, much worse than what I have. And it it really humbles you. And I really hope that you guys can understand that. Like, just don't waste your time with um anything. Just go in and keep your goals. Probably biggest thing biggest shift i did was um opening up to god but like, honestly um being that i felt so empty and alone like even with my mum there with girlfriend with everything and i can't thank them enough for what they've done for me especially my friends but i still felt like i was missing a part of me and when i opened up to um god and prayed for like an extra hand he i felt his presence i know not many people believe or anything but like i did feel his presence and it shifted my mind completely uh praying every morning or when i can and just asking for a good day asking for forgiveness and i i felt a hand on my shoulder and he he got me through the roughest part of my life i really believe and it's credits where credit's due and uh, I will not stop praying I'll probably end up going back to church and I I strongly suggest people you don't have to become a full Christian like go to church and like every weekend everything but just just reach reach out and just read some verses in the Bible and it will really open your eyes to everything so that's how I've handled this whole experience mentally and how I've tried to handle this whole thing in my head but I really do hope you guys enjoy this little insight video I've got my full day in the life coming this weekend so I hope you guys are keen for that and if you guys enjoy the video like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time